Okay guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna give you a really quick demonstration on how to use the secure folder feature on your Samsung Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus. I'm gonna explain what the secure folder is, how you can transfer files in and out of that folder, and how you can remove that folder if you don't need it anymore. Let's get started with the video. All right guys, so first things first, secured folder is basically a partition in your Samsung Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus where you can store information, pictures, files, even download applications, and it acts as a separate account on your Samsung Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus. And it is password protected as well, so you can actually store sensitive information, documents, anything from work, things like that. It's really just another layer of security on your phone let me show you exactly how to access it. So first you wanna make sure you're loaded into your phone. You swipe down from the top, you go into your settings option here. And from settings, you're looking for biometrics and security. So now once you're going into biometrics and security, you go right down, you'll see it's a secure folder right there. If you hit that secure folder, it's gonna bring you to this welcome screen. So it basically just explains what secure folder is. Again, it's protecting your data and making sure that you can secure copies of your applications, pictures, and other things. And you have to sign in with your Samsung account. So if you don't already have a Samsung account, um, which most of you do if you already have a Samsung phone, it's kind of a almost a requirement to get into the Samsung phones. You can go create a Samsung account. After you're done, you're gonna hit agree. Gonna process for a little bit. And then it's gonna ask you to enter your Samsung password. So I can just press my fingerprint. And now it's telling you that you can add files, keep apps secure. So what the keep apps secure option means is that you can actually have a mirrored version of an application in the secured folder without actually affecting the app on your main phone. So if you have, for instance, a business Instagram account and a personal Instagram account, you can actually have your business Instagram in the secure folder logged into as normal and you can have your personal Instagram logged into as normal and the regular partition of your phone and the two accounts won't affect each other. So once everything is set up, going to bring you into this screen and this is where you add your second layer of security to the secure folder. So you can either again add a pattern, a pin or a password and biometrics is still activated. So you're adding this in addition to the biometrics if you want. You can disable the fingerprint but this is a secondary backup because sometimes when you reset the phone it requires you to enter a physical password pin or pattern and not use the biometrics to initially get in. I'll do a pin and I'll just pick any kind of pin. You should definitely make your pin a little bit more secure than all ones. And that's it. So now that everything is processed, I'm actually in the secured folder itself. And you can see that it just gives you a basic display with your gallery, calendar, contact, camera, internet, files, and your Samsung note. And I have my email set up on this phone already, but if I was to hit email here, you would see that there's no email set up because I haven't set up an email in the secured folder itself. The email is set up on the other partition of my phone. So now that you have it set up, there is a couple of things you can do. Like I said, you can set up uh, another email account. You can set up another calendar. You can import or take pictures that save directly into your secure folder. But let's say that you want to add an application that's really simple. They actually have an add application button right at the bottom here. And it's going to take you to the Play Store or the Galaxy Store. Or if you already have an app installed that you want to add to secure folder, you can just scroll through your applications here and add it there. Now, if you add this app from your phone, it's literally going to take that app from that side of your phone and bring it over. But if you want a duplicate application, you would just go into the Play Store here and actually have to install, sign into the Play Store because again, nothing is signed in in this particular section. Okay, so once I'm signed in with my actual Google account, let's say that I want to install Instagram, just select it, hit install, installed. We're not gonna open it from here, but we'll just go back to our secured folder and boom, Instagram right on display. So again, if I hit this Instagram and ask me to sign in because it's not registering account that signed in. But if I go back out to my main page and I select this Instagram here, you can see that it loads right into my Instagram for my business. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you should definitely follow me at your tech download. Shameless plug. 
of course. Now, another really cool thing you can do is store files and documents in here as well. So you do have the add files button and then it gives you the ability to store the videos, audio documents, or anything from your file. Now bear in mind that anything that you transport over into the secure document folder is going to be removed from your initial phone memory. So you won't have access to it in the other phone memory. You'll only have access to it through your secure documents. So these are only going to be documents that you really do want to keep safe and separate from your phone. You can definitely transfer it that way. All right. So now let's say I have a picture that I've taken. Let me just take a quick screenshot. Right, so we have my screenshot here and that's going to be saved in my gallery. So now all you would have to do is go to your gallery, go to the picture that you want to move to your secure folder. And you're going to hit these three little dots at the top and then you're going to now have the ability to move to secure folder. Moving. So that picture has been moved to secure folder and you can see that it disappears and is no longer stored in my gallery. So that picture is not going to be present in this gallery. But if I go into my secure folder here and I can go into gallery and boom. So you have the new picture stored in a new location in your phone and you have the different options here as if you had a regular gallery. So it gives you all the regular options that you would have on your outside gallery on your inside so you can control settings and this is all independent from your initial phone settings so now if you hit the settings button those three little dots on the top you do have three different options you can lock which just basically locks the secure folder immediately you can customize your application which just gives you another layer of customizations in here as well and then you have your settings here that just goes into a little bit more detail you have your biometric or lock types that you can set up you can set one to auto lock to secure folder notifications and data you can have this show the different notifications on your lock screen if you don't want your notifications to be shown then you can actually turn that off here and you can even hide the secure folder itself so if you tick this it will be hidden and it won't be shown in your actual applications draw so the only way that you'll be able to access your secure folder is going into settings biometrics and security and then actually hitting the secure folder there and that's really if you want to add another layer of security on the three layers of security you already have if you're that paranoid keeping government secrets or whatever in your phone, you can definitely do that. So now the last thing I'm gonna show you is how to get rid of the secure folder if you ever decide that you no longer need it. You don't wanna store anything in here, you just want it off your phone. That's actually really easy. You're just gonna log in to the secure folder itself. Go to those three little dots there, and then you're gonna to go to settings, and then you're gonna to go to more settings. And then you have the ability to uninstall here. And then if you just tap the uninstall button here, it'll tell you that everything will be uninstalled hit that give it a couple seconds and everything goes away all right guys so if you enjoyed this video check out some of the other videos we did about the s10 plus if you have any questions share those down below in the comment section below this video we do our very best to answer all the questions that you guys present to the best of our ability thank you guys so much for checking out the video if you liked it make sure to subscribe to the channel we do support videos here all the time helping out the community until next time peace